Okay, uh, Coach Tate, this is my fifth year of coaching, first year uh, at Montague. Uh, preferred golf ball, uh, probably a Pro V. For me, the, the, the beauty of coaching, uh, I, I love the relationships. Uh, as a teacher, it's just teaching in a, in a different environment, uh, just out of the classroom. And uh, for me, any chance that I get to, to spend with the kids uh, with a shared passion that they have and I have, it's, 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 just, a, it's just a cool thing. Uh, I, I, growing up, my, my golf hero easily uh, was Jack Nicklaus and Tom Watson. That was kind of my, uh, my era. I, I actually got to meet uh, another one of my golf uh, heroes and idols, uh, Phil Mickelson, when I was in college uh, at the Buick Open in Warwick Hills. And uh, I learned the game of golf from my father. Uh, he's been the major role model in my life. Um, and that was something that uh, he and I were able to, to share a lot of experiences and a lot of fun together on the golf course. Today, uh, there, are, there are just, uh, I'm a golf geek when it comes to, to watching. Uh, the golf channel is pretty much the only channel I watch at home, but uh, Colin Morikawa, is uh, one of the most incredible iron players I've seen. I love to watch John Rahm. Has a unique uh, three-quarter swing and still able to hit it 300 plus yards. And then uh, probably still the short game of Phil Mickelson. Uh, it's pretty incredible at his age that he's able to do what he can do around the greens. There would not be one, uh, no, I, I, I <laughs> Uh, and, and I, I, oh, I, I don't think I could find one to be honest with you. Not that there, were, I would have any problem with that. Uh, well, I probably should think through that question real carefully. But my daughter does <laughs> already have a boyfriend, so I don't, I don't think she would be happy with any answer that I would give to this. But uh, no, the the boys are great, but I would just prefer they're not showing up at my front door. <laughs> Oh, I'm team neither. Uh, to be honest, uh, I'm, a, I'm pretty old school and, and I found that whole uh, interaction between the two to be despicable, kind of. I just thought it was low class on both parts. Um, I don't see either one really putting a positive light too much on golf. Uh, yeah, I just... Uh, can't say I like either one, I'm, I'm honest. <laughs> uh, that, that is simple. It's my, uh, it, it's my 56 degree Cleveland wedge uh, that I got from uh, Kevin O'Connell uh, back in 1992. Uh, it's never left my bag, it won't leave my bag. It's, uh, it's valuable to me. <laughs> I would, uh, Tom Watson, uh, for one, absolutely. His swing to me, um, it's, gosh, I'm, I think he's 80 some years old now, um, still plays in the 60s, or shoots in the 60s, I should say. It, it's just, it's awesome to watch. Uh, Jack Nicholas, I would just want to listen to his words of wisdom. Uh, it, it, there's nothing that that man doesn't know, and I would honestly have to say, Probably Lee Trevino because it would be entertaining um, and he's probably the best ball striker uh, that I've ever seen, period. So I, I, I think those three would be just an incredible time on a golf course.